In the last two tutorials, we managed to successfully use the sound pool to play some sounds. And we did that in our main activity. If we look at the classes, our class diagram, we've got our splash screen, our main activity, my first button, and the sounds we're playing are only currently available in the main activity. If you want to play them in any other activity, you'd have to declare some variables, load the sound back into memory, play them, and you'd have to do that for each other class. There must be a better way. And there is. And if we zoom out, it's a perfect opportunity to introduce the Android application class, not an activity class. We've got all these activity classes we've created, but the application class. And it's a special class. It represents your app, your entire app, and all of the activity classes you've created inside. The application class has its own life cycle, and it's similar to the activity classes life cycle. You can think of the application class, define it and, and use it like any of the activity classes you have. And we can define member methods in the application class that are available for all other activities. Let's take a look at the code. If we open up, uh, well, you can see that I've already created an application class and I've called it Droid 101 application class. If we open that, a lot of the things you'll see in this tutorial code-wise are a repeat from the sound pool tutorials, so you'll have to watch those for a deeper explanation on sound pool. But what's important for the application class is, instead of extending an activity class, you can name your application class with any name, and you have to extend the application class. That's the difference between an application class and an activity class. The next thing to do is to take the name you've just used, open the Android manifest, find your application declarations, and you have to name, you have to add the name of the class you've just declared. So Android name, Droid 101 application class. If we go back to our Droid 101 application class, I've cut and paste, pasted the code from our sound pool tutorial, except that I've added global at the beginning of each variable. So here are all the items that you'll need to re write down and reproduce. In the onCreate method, I have a create sound pool method. I have a load sounds method and a volume sounds method, just as we've done before. Here's the create pool method. You might want to pause and copy this, but as I said, it's available in the previous tutorial. Here's the load sounds method and here's the play sound method. If you're curious about what methods are available in the application class, you can always go to code, override methods, and browse. You can see, uh, well, the onCreate method isn't here because we've already overridden it, but it's got an onTerminate method. But it is missing, missing things like onPause. I'll talk a bit more about that another time. So how do you use this application class? Well, I've created a button called Application Sound, and that's in our main activity. If you open up Main Activity, at the very top, you need to declare a Droid 101 application class object or whatever the name of your class is, this line. The next thing you must do in your onCreate method for your class, you have to assign to app that we've just created. You have to get the application class and cast it and use the name you've given. And now you're free to access app and all the methods you've created for it. So if we scroll quickly down to the app sound button, I'm just accessing its member method app dot play G sound coin. And if we tap that button, we've got the sound. So we've got it in the main activity, but let's see how easy it is to use. I'm going to look at the about activity. So about activity, and we're going to do something similar here. First step. Second step is to then inside your onCreate to get your application. And as part of the onCreate, I just want to play the sound. Let's hit save and let's run this. Our application sound should still work. That's in the main method. And if we go to our about method, because we put play sound in onCreate, as soon as we get to the about method, it should make the same sound. Excellent. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.